so welcome again to my channel. So we are now in our part video. For this video, we're going to discuss another topic in Calculist 1. So let's start. From the connect section, ellipse. Ellipse is is the set of points in a plane such that some of the distances from two fixed points in that plane stay constant. The two points are each called a focus. The plural, the plural of focus is foci. The midpoints of the segment joining the foci is called the center of the ellipse. An ellipse has two axes of symmetry. So, first is the longer one is called the major axis and the shorter one is the called minor axis. So, as you can see, this is the graph represent as ellipse. So, have you seen the focus? Focus there is we have the F, F1 and F2. Then, the joining points of focus will be or it what we call center so the longer symmetry name as the semi major axis and the shorter is semi minor axis as what i said earlier this time or this pictures figure out the ellipse with a horizontal major axis so this is the two axes intersect at the center of the ellipse the horizontal and vertical so the vertical will be this ellipse with a vertical major axis of you see our focus joining from the center next one the equation of an ellipse that is centered at zero zero so remember or take note thus the ellipse or the equation an ellipse that is centered at zero zero and has its major axis along the x-axis has the following standard for this will be the use of x-axis so we have the x squared over a x a squared plus y squared over b squared is equal to 1 or shall we say a squared is greater than b squared so the length of the major axis is 2 2 which is the a and the length of the minor axis is 2 which is b the endpoints of the major axis are a0 and negative a0 and are referred to as the major intercept the endpoints of the minor axis are 0 b and 0 negative b and that's referred as the minor intercepts so if if the c if c 0 and negative 0 are the location of the foci or the focus of your graphs then c can be using the equation so you must be used the equation of c squared equals a squared minus b squared so here's the equation next so let's first i have an example in the example find and grab its major and minor intercept and its foci so what we are going to do is to grab and finding the minor and the major intercept and the focus from this given 4x squared plus 25y squared is is equal to 100 so the solution is you need to or write the 4x squared plus 25y squared equals 100 in standard form by dividing the or by dividing each side by 100 this is the solution 4x is divide x squared divide by 100 plus 25 squared divide by 100 as the equals or equals 100 divide 100 so 4x squared divide 100 is x squared over 25 then plus 
25 divide 100 or the 25 y squared divide 100 is y squared over 4. Then 100 equals 100 equals 100 divide 100 is equal to 1. So the ellipse is centered at 0, 0. Since the larger denominator is with the x variable. So the major axis lies along the x axis. So this is the graph for this example. Yan. So the e squared here is 25. So squared by 25 is 5. Then the b squared is equal to 4. Then the squared of 4 is 2. Therefore, we need to use this equation, c squared is equal to a squared minus b squared. So, a squared here is 25 minus 4, which is the b squared. So, 25 minus 4 is equal to 21. So, our c here is twin, uh, square root of 21 since um, hindi natin makuha yung or makuha yung square root ng 21. This is the result. The major intercept is 5, 0 and negative 5, 0. So as you can see in the graph, we have the ze 5, 0, the major intercept, and negative 5, 0 in the left side. Then the minor intercepts, so as you can see in the graph, we have the 0, 2, and the 0, negative 2, there. Then, from the second example, we need to do is to find the equation of the ellipse having its center is 0. So, finding the equation, so we need to use um, equation of b squared is equal to a squared minus c squared so our given is or our center is zero zero so our focus given is zero eight and the vertex here is zero ten so in the equation b squared equals a squared minus c squared so the b squared is equal to our a squared here is the ten ten squared minus our c squared is eight then b squared is equal to 10 times 10. So we are going to multiply 10 by 10 times 10. So equals 100. So that's what our a. Then a times 8 is 64. So our c is 64. So b squared is equal to 100 minus 64 is equal to 36. So, we are going to square 36 since b squared siya. So, the square root of 36 is 6. So, c, our c in this example is 8. Then, our b is 6 and our a is 10. The answer for this is x squared over 6 plus y squared over 10 is equal to 1. So, for you to understand more, so here's the graph for this example. So, we have the focus. So, this graph represents us vertical. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget also to click the notification bell below for you to watch my next upcoming video. Thank you and God bless everyone. Bye!